Hello, I'm Angela Makrovitz on behalf of the Culinary Institute of Charleston for PostingCourier.com. And I have Shelly, an amazing student from the Culinary Institute, with me again to make an amazing, really cold winter stew. I mean, how often does it get so cold, it goes right to the bone, and nothing warms you up? This is one of those stews that actually is, takes a long time to make. Long time as in like four, five, six hours, depending on if you use a slow cooker, crock pot put it in your oven, put it on the stove, but it is worth every ounce of the weight. Today we're going to make espresso braised beef stew. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we've got a great pot here of olive oil. We're going to put in some quartered onion. Yeah, we're going to saute that for a little bit. And, and those of you that know me know I love to put my spices in very early on so that they're infused with the oils. <clears throat> Throw in some salt and pepper to your liking early on. Yeah, and you know, this is a really great dish because there's not a lot of steps to this. You throw everything in the pot and then you walk away, go shopping, hang out in front of a movie, come back again four, five, six hours later and it's done. It's ready. It's as if you spent a lot of time on it. So we have turnips and carrots. Great root vegetables. I have ground beef chuck here. It's about a pound and a half. I'm going to throw that in so it can start getting brown. And then the rest are what I call the condiments. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know that espresso for years has been a method of enriching sauces that bring out an absolutely unbelievable flavor. It's just an enrichment. You're not going to taste the coffee. So people who don't like coffee, that's not going to be about the taste, but it absolutely enriches the sauce like nothing else. So we're gonna add some tomato paste. You can also do ancho chilies if you don't want tomato paste and you wanna make it a little bit spicier. I've got some brown sugar. Red wine, gotta have red wine. All right. And then in terms of the espresso, instant espresso, we're probably gonna do about a tablespoon, uh, but you could do a little bit more. I'm just gonna put that all around. When you smell the difference in oh, taste, yeah. just, just, I mean, in smell, just from that combination, amazing. Really good. Yeah. All right, so once everything is mixed, slightly browned, caramelized a little bit, at this stage, I would either throw this whole pot in the oven, cover it, let it cook on low temp, maybe 275, 300, 325, for as many hours until this falls apart on the fork. If you've got a slow cooker, then I would do at least four to six hours. And if you're going to do it on stovetop, I'd turn it down and, and leave it at very low temperature for simmering with a constant stir maybe every hour. Shelly, another thing you could do with this is serve this with mashed sweet potatoes, regular mashed potatoes, dumplings, or leave out the, the carbs completely. But this is a really great stew to have on a really cold winter night. On behalf of the Culinary Institute of Charleston for PostingCourier.com, I'd like to thank you for spending time in our kitchen this winter.